Okay, we have a Toro CCR 2000 single stage that's not starting. It's been sitting for several years, actually. I try and clean the carburetor out so we went ahead and bought a new one on Amazon since that clean out didn't work. It was 20 bucks, comes with a few other parts. Let's go ahead and install it. To get to everything easily, it's gonna be best to pull toward the end and tip it forward. That's gonna expose the carburetor there, take that case off, everything we need. Here's the carburetor. To get this plate off, it's gonna be, or this cover off, there's gonna be two screws. This is three eighths. We're also gonna take these three screws off over there. And that's gonna expose the spark plug, which is underneath this. That is five sixteenths. Of course, it doesn't come with any uh, instructions, which is fine. So this is going to be your carburetor right here. You got your carburetor bowl, carburetor. Uh, there's going to be two, two of these screws. That's going to hold on essentially everything there. Uh, there's going to be a spring down here and stuff that we're going to need to detach as well, uh, along with this choke. This is going to be your gas line, and then this is going to be this one up here is the primer, and I think that's what came with this. Uh, there's a new one. It's obviously. Uh, far too skinny for this so it's got to be the primer because it does come with a new primer bulb which is good because we need one of those so we'll essentially just start taking things off and uh putting it back on putting on with the new stuff this is three sixteenths you can take this off with it twisted on the ground or with it sitting on the ground. However, if you have it leaned up like this, that gas line is not gonna flow over because the carb's gonna be higher than the fuel tank. So it's always a good idea to take it off like this. Here's the new one. All right, so with this new one, it's gonna sit just like that. And we're gonna need to save this piece. So we'll clean that off and then put that back on there. So we're gonna keep this. Okay, from this angle, we've got this little spring that we need to take off. We'll come back to that. There you go, pulled that little spring off and that comes off. This is gonna be your spacer and then it comes with some gaskets that I'm guessing are these. We'll leave that on for now. Lastly, let's get this primer line off. This is the old primer bulb. I'm just gonna break those plastic tabs off since we have a replacement. From here, now we just put everything back together. We're gonna put the new gasket on.
don't make the same mistake I did, you'll notice there's no cup here, so I'm gonna have to come back later on once I notice that, take those bolts out, put the cup back on, and start over. Now the pack that I purchased did come with a new, I think that's a gas line filter, honestly not really sure, but since we have it, we might as well put it together. So it's just gonna take the clamps off, pull the hoses off, and then we're gonna replace that piece. The smaller bit is gonna to go towards the fuel tank, the larger side's gonna to go to the carburetor. This is getting the new primer button in. There's little plastic tabs, but they're very hard. So I ended up getting the smallest Allen wrench I had, sliding it through and using that to kind of leverage it into place. Now I'll spare you the video here, but this is gonna be replacing the spark plug. I'm honestly not sure if the spark plug's bad. These don't go out that often for these little snow blowers. But again, the kit came with this, so we might as well swap it out. Now that we're almost at the end, I'm getting very cold and I finally realized that that bowl isn't on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those bolts out, put it right on, put the bolts back in, not a big deal. So the only thing I didn't film here was putting back on that spring and the choke. Um, but those are obviously you just reverse the process and from here, you're just gonna put all the plastic pieces back together, the plastic covers. You'll see that this does take a while. Honestly, maybe the hardest part of this is getting this back on because this red cover is gonna screw into the bottom plate uh, of the top side there. You'll see once you get it going. And I'm happy to announce this baby started right up. It is gonna sound a little rough. Obviously, it's kind of clearing the rest of that gas in there, but make sure to put some fresh gas and oil mixture and you'll be good to go.